So it had the same settings where we left off before. Now if I just went back in and did another levels dialog box, it, it would it would not allow me to go in there and change it. But in this case, since we did the highlights and the shadows, now we gotta work on the midtones. And it, as you see they look very yellow. So the opposite of yellow is blue. And we want to go in the midtone slider right here and move it to the far right, which makes it turn yellow. Then we want to move it to the far left, which makes it much more blue. Huh. There we go. So as I'm going out, I'm pulling out more yellow. But the problem is if I pull out too much yellow, it starts turning to blue in those midtone areas. So we want some of the blue to be natural, but a lot of it is yellow. We want some of the yellow to be natural, but a lot of that yellow is from the lights there and the street lamps. And as we could, if you take a look right here in the street area, really that shouldn't be yellow anyways. We're going to push that out, I'd say. I'd say we, we, we need to... We need to just try to push a little bit more right here maybe and if you if you look you'll see my numbers here I'm at one I went from 1.0 to 1.32 that's quite extreme we're gonna hit okay now again there's yellow in the faces so that that really bothers me <coughs> your faces are somewhat in the shadows too that's why so the flesh tone in the shadow really makes it even more yellow go make a new adjustment layer this time we're going to take hue and saturation instead of levels we're going to jump to the yellows channel we're going to pull it pull out saturation which is like this now what happens when we do that we see the face is starting to lose their yellow which is nice so before and after we're going to pop up the lightness just a little bit uh, yeah I hate this slider here it's really but it's not bad okay let's hit okay now the faces are dark they've lost a lot of that yellow which is okay we got a lighten of the faces click on background copy and then in your layers palette and then make a new snapshot here in your history palette click that little camera icon and it'll give you a new snapshot when you scroll all the way up and then click the little box next to that new snapshot. So we're going to remember that history. Go to the history brush. Check your settings. Up, check check your options. That brush is wide enough. Your mode. We're going to this time. We're going to do it as screen. Screen will actually lighten whatever it touches. We'll bring the opacity down. I'd say I'd say nine percent is is high enough. Leave the leave the flow up here at a hundred, and just wipe that with that history brush. Just wipe the area in the face here. Okay, we're gonna before before after. Here we go. Before after. That's good. That's good. A little bit more here. Let's get his hand. His hand doesn't quite match his skin. Alright, and this gentleman here playing the catcher. I I'm sure you, you know what baseball team they're fans of. Okay. Very good. Now let's brighten up let's help their faces a little bit image adjust curves get this curves dialog box here I'm gonna make sure that my anchor point is near the white areas yours might be this way up here mine is this way and we'll bring that anchor point dragging it right along the top like so go to the green I actually want to give some more 
flesh, so I, I, flesh tone colored there. They're looking a little flat. So instead of that green, I put that back. Let's go to the red. And we should be adding red, which would be taking out cyan, basically, or taking out that that bluish tinge, okay? We're going to hit OK. Now, looking out, this is definitely not good color before, after. Definitely not. But it's just for the faces. So we will undo it. But go into the history palette. And after we undid it, the curves that we just applied is grayed out. So I want you to make that your history state by clicking on the square box. Don't click on the state. Click on the box next to it because that's what we'll be painting in to the faces. Here we go. Just wipe that in there. And my, my uh, history brush option is at screen, so I think we should change that. So I'm going to undo. We don't want to complicate things. Give you a little close up here so you can see. I, I changed the mode from screen to normal. Opacity is, uh, let's crank that up a little bit because we didn't even push it too far in, in curves. And just paint. Paint. Yeah. See, they look a little normal for very light skinned people. And you never know, you know, th depending on, you know, their, their ethnic background. You just never know. And then you have people in the background and then you have people in the foreground. This boy was who the camera was exposing for, actually. So let's zoom out, look at the overall picture. And before, after, before, after, that, that area, which I think is acceptable. They are going a little green. So we'll work on that. And then I turn off all the layers. That's that's when we started. And this is after. So let's go back in there and do a quick little curves adjustment layer up here in the menu. Image, adjust, curves. Let's go to the green channel. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to work right here in this cheek area. I'm going to look for that. Pull this down a little bit. That's wrong way. <laughs> Okay, still looks kind of green. I think maybe that's more of a cyan type cast. So let's go to the red then. And let's pull that down. Yeah, just a little bit. Hit OK. All right, history, palette, go up one state, click on that second curves that we just did. And we're going to keep our, we're going to make sure we got that history brush and keep the options the same. Let me just do a quick paint right here on his face. Let's see. Before, after, good. Bring the opacity up to 100% here. Yeah, help him out a little bit. Now for some finishing touches. The last part that we ever want to work on when we're fixing a photo is the sharpening. That's it. Never do that in the beginning. Always do that at the end. Filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. I'm going to keep the amount at an easy 150. Radius about 1.1, threshold zero. I'm going to hit OK. And just as a minor detail, you may not notice it, we want to we want to do what's called fade right after we we do that we want to fade it to luminosity and that helps alleviate any uh, nasty color shifts that may occur when we sharpen and of course you should be saving while you're working on these